If you want to teach your child to manage big feelings on their own, help them create a physical reminder of their coping skills. In this video, I'll show you how to build a calm basket and how to help your kids use it when they're feeling overwhelmed, anxious, angry, or any other big feelings. Be sure to stick around to the end to see what I have in my own calm basket. They're great for parents too. You can even use your own basket to model for your child or use them together when they're struggling. Hi, I'm Dr. Jackie. I'm a psychologist specializing in child anxiety. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more weekly videos to help families overcome fears and anxiety. Building a calm basket is a great way to introduce kids to coping skills. It's a physical reminder of skills and gives tangible options when your child is having big feelings. It takes out the problem solving and decision making when your child's brain is already overwhelmed with emotions. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what to put in the basket. So I just picked this one up at Target. Everyone in our family has these little luggage tags so we know whose basket is whose. Include items in the basket that engage your child's five senses. So first we have sound. Headphones are great for this. They can listen to music or listen to an audiobook. Um, then we have touch. So soft stuffed animals are great for this. Uh, we also like push pops in our house. Um, we have the sound uh, component too with these. Then smell. So for younger kids, smelly stickers are great. They can scratch them and sniff them. And then we have sight. So my daughter really likes the look and find books. It's great, it's small and a drawing or writing tablet. It's really easy to use. And then lastly, we have um, taste. So for younger kids, items that they can bite on or chew on. For older kids, you might consider hard candies or ring pops or a water bottle. Then you wanna include items in the basket that bring down the body's physical reaction to stress. So stuff that helps kids do deep breathing or muscle relaxation. So pinwheels are a great way for people to practice deep breathing. And then I like things like squishies or stress balls to help practice that muscle relaxation. Tailor the items to your child's interest and age. Baskets are great for school age and up, but even toddlers and preschoolers can get the idea with a little extra help and guidance. If you found this video helpful so far, I'd really appreciate it if you tap the like button and let me know. So once you collect items for your child's basket, or maybe you go to store or look online together, you need to teach your child how to use it. Say something like, you know, it's my job as your mom to help you with things that are hard and knowing what to do to feel better when we have a hard time can be really tough. Then you could pause and give an example of a situation that was hard and give your child room to respond. Then say, it can be helpful to have options ready to try when we're feeling worried or sad or angry. And when I'm not feeling my best, I can just try different things and see what might help. Then show your child what each item is for and how to use it. If you have a younger child, maybe start with just two or three options and gradually add a few more over time. Practice using each one together. You can also switch out items as kids grow or get bored with them or don't show interest in them anymore. One more thing, after you've introduced your child to the basket and the items in it and practice several times when calm, decide together when the basket might be most useful. Keep in mind it's not going to be useful at the height of emotions. Using tools in the basket will work best when emotions first start to rise or when a person comes back down. Think about emotions as a mountain. You scatter the items along the climb up and down but not at the tippy top. You and your child's job at the tippy top of emotions is just to get through the moment safely. As I said in the beginning, calm down baskets don't just have to be for kids. Grown-ups can have them too. The principles are the same. You want to choose things that you like that engage your senses or help relieve physical symptoms of stress. You can even use your own basket to model for your child or use them together when your child is struggling. So here's what's in mind. For sound, I have wireless Bluetooth headphones. For touch, I have a lavender pillow. It can go in the freezer or the microwave. So there's also an element of temperature, which is great. For smell, I have an essential oil. I really like peppermint. And for sight, I have a book of Sudoku. Then for the physical symptoms, I have items that match my daughter so we can do them together. I also have the pinwheel for deep breathing. And I have a squishy unicorn for the muscle relaxation. I'd love to know in the comments how this works for you and your kids. Which items do you and your kids love the most? If you found this video helpful, be sure to click the like button and subscribe so I can continue helping families overcome fears and anxiety. See you in the next video.